shall go disabled. Hey, somebody declare it in my marriage, God disabled. Somebody proclaim it in your business, God disabled. Yes, you are in my education, God disabled. The Jesus, you know. See the way strong God is able. Say Jesus in my marriage. God is able. Yes, you are. Oh, you are able. You are able. One more time, you are able. Jesus, yes, you are able. our seed faith. And the song we want to sing says, my hands, my legs, my entire body, praise the Lord, for this is your duty on earth. Praise the Lord.
Everybody wave your hands and shout hallelujah. I say wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Amen. Those of you who are sitting at the back, those of you, see, see, see that person where rest for work there. So you people should come forward. If you are sitting at the back, please come forward. Move closer. If you are sitting, uh, is, is that sister hearing me? That sister, yes, she hearing me. Move forward, like the man of God will say. Are you charging a the phone there? If you are not charging your phone, move forward. Yes, move forward. Leave the back for those who are coming late. And this this way too. Uh, that, that person that is at the very window there. Are you hearing me? Those two people there. Uh, that third one. Can you can you move forward, please? Move forward. Those people there, move forward. If you are charging phone, except you are charging your phone. You are charging phone there. I can see you are charging your phone there. Uh, tell her to remove the phone and move forward. I'm seeing you sitting very close to that place there, charging phone. Move forward. How many of you are ready to be blessed today? You ready to be blessed? This evening, this man of God, the son of our father, Papa Ayo Rishajapo is here. I want you to join me this evening as we bring to the microphone Apostle Mike Akindako. Put your hands together. Come on. Oh, no, turn back by it all, and I'm back by it all. Back by it all. Yes, he will. Not ready for this deliverance service. Can you see people here? Oh, no, Tanek Bahiro, Ek Bahiro. As if your landlord is waiting for you at all. Can we clap for Jesus Christ very well? Listen to me. It is good to be in the presence of God. I didn't look at this side, but this other side. Oh, my God. Oh, no, Tanek Bahiro. Egba iro, Alleluia. Egba iro, Alleluia. What? Hey, hey! Are you ready for revival? Jump up and shout, Egba iro. Are you ready now, sir? This is how we sing it in Alaja. Alaja, wo mani alaja. I alaja iti ne. Wo you are you ready now? Oh, no tanek bahiro re. Hallelujah. Oh, kaka ero. Bahiro. Let me see you like that. Oh, no tanek bahiro re na. That's right. Bahiro. Bahiro. Oh, kaka ero. Bahiro. Hallelujah. 
for Jesus Christ can we clap our hand for Jesus Christ walk to seven people and tell them I want to ask you a question tell that person say I want to ask you a question look at one man one woman say I want to ask you a question tell him or her ask him or her out of you and I whom do you think God loves most can you answer that question? Can you answer that question? Answer her. Answer him. Whom do you think God loves most? Everybody shout hallelujah. 
listening is revival service we are your spirit out to be alive we are in word of life can we clap for jesus christ you don't go, come to revival service and be looking as if somebody have just died in your life no clap your hand very well here in revival service you pray and the more you pray the more you wish to pray better you don't pray and stop the more you pray the more you wish to pray i look forward to friday services because of the kind of messages that god himself packaged for us here can we clap for jesus christ very well can i tell you one word here just one word not two can i tell you one word here anything you desire god will answer them today ah uh, i love your amen here i'm going to stay much here this day i prophesy whatever you desire god will answer you today if you say amen so shall it be in your life whatever you desire god will answer your prayer today shout that amen louder than your neighbor by your side you know that god loves you more than that neighbor can you shout better than that neighbor by your side listen to this in psalm 145 verse 16 the bible says he stretch his hand and he satisfy the desire of everything psalm 145 verse 16 145 verse 16 he satisfy the desire of every living thing including cockroaches every living thing he satisfied them including animal including lion including mosquito he created mosquito he had to satisfy them because by night mosquito is sleeping now by night they will come out in your bedroom waiting at your door as soon as you waste time at the door they enter and they have to do some work he is satisfied i was not there when bible was written he satisfied the desire of every living thing in psalm 37 verse 4 the bible says delight thyself in the lord and it will satisfy the desire it will give you the desire of your heart in mark chapter 11 verse 24 the bible says whatsoever you pray you ask where you pray believe that god will answer your desire what to ask what to desire when you pray believe that god will answer i love romans chapter 10 verse 1 the book of romans chapter 10 verse 1 says that paul was writing and paul said my desire is all israel will be saved who has a desire today you know you have a desire run to the altar i didn't say come to the altar say run 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 to the altar lift up and say my father my father as i begin to pray now satisfy my desire anything that is in my mind that i've been asking you to do for me in this revival service say to me now somebody clap your hand and pray that prayer where is brother isaac yes my father my father uh -huh. satisfy the desires of my heart uh -huh. whatever it is that i'm looking for in this service today let it be granted unto me yes let the hand of god decide yes give me my desire yes my desire. yes 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 in jesus name we pray we have a lot to do within a short time so if you waste time you miss any singular minute of this service you have missed a lot are you ready to pray amos chapter 5 verse 19 we are praying some prayers from that place amos 5 19 i like to pray scriptural prayers because anything you pray scriptural it does not miss if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him 
or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bite him. Very simple word. Let me simplify the English. A man was running. As he was running, he ran from a lion. Tried to escape from lion. And he, as he just left, he thought that he has escaped. When he escaped from lion, another animal appeared, a bear. When a bear appeared, he continued to run. He ran to his house and he leaned on the wall and he was breathing. As he was leaning on the wall, a serpent, a snake came out of the wall and still bite him. It is called repeated battles. Battle from everywhere. Battle that you cannot explain. Battle that is coming from all angles. Battle that is coming from all directions. Lift up your hands and say, My father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Any battle. Any battle. Coming from everywhere. Coming from everywhere. In, my in my life. As I pray. As I, pray. As I clap my hands. Oh, my die by fire. By fire. Oh, yeah, pray. My father, my father. As I clap my hands to pray tonight. Every battle that has been coming from every side. Battle from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south. Yes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Hear this. The man left house. Enter the mouth of lion. When he finished with lion, enter bear. He finished with bear, enter snake. It is moving from one battle to the other. Are you hearing what I'm saying? May you not move from battle to battle. Is that all amen you can gather now? May I not move from battle to battle. Say my father, my fighter. As I, pray now, As I pray now, any power, any power that, takes that takes me from one battle, one battle to the other, from another battle to another battle, 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 yeah! Oh, you pray like that. Yes. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Yes. 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 Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. I love the way you are praying. Open your mouth. Yes. Open your mouth. Yes. Open your mouth. Yes. Open your mouth. By fire, open your mouth in Jesus' name. We pray power that takes you from one battle to the other, from that battle to another battle. You have that battle to another battle. I prophesy, let the power die now. Wow, I love your hymn today. Let the power die now. Amen means let it be so. If you say small amen, let it be so. Very small. A large amen, let it be so. Very well. Let the power that takes you from one battle to the other die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. A seven am I here? Let 
me introduce you to next week, Friday. In Joshua chapter 6, verse 26, Joshua said, He laid a cause that any man that will stand to rebuild Jericho, that cause be that man that will rise to rebuild Jericho. That the day start to build Jericho, first son will die, first one will die, and on the last day finish putting the fence, putting the the gate. That the last born will die. Everybody say, I cancel it in my life. Cause our power to travel to four generation, which is four hundred years. Four hundred years later, what did I say, sir? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. People are not talking here. What did I say here? 400 years later. First King chapter 16, verse 34. A king called Mr. Hiel. Put it on the screen. First King chapter 16, verse 34. A king called Mr. Hiel. He just came and he didn't know the history of Jericho. That the sound that was of Jericho fell down flat. That was of Jericho fell down flat. And the wall fell. After he fell, Joshua placed cause. Anybody that will build it back, first one will die, last one will die. This king came 400 years. He never knew Joshua. He never knew there was an history. He never knew there was a statement. He never knew that somebody placed a cause. He just wanted to fence the city. And as he began to fence, that day they start to carry to dig the ground. The first son fell down and died. And the last day, he never knew that this was it. It's called a curse. Lift up your hands. Any cause you carry about that suffers any time where the loudest he may hear, I reverse it in the name of Jesus. I pray that cause in your life. Every cause on your head, I break it in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my fighter, as I begin to pray, any curse on my head, on my family line, as I pray, as I clap my hands, break now, break now, break now, break now, break now. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Next Friday, meet us here. Breaking generational causes. And you are looking like Lucosid. Listen, we have men of God that hear from God. I sit down 3 a.m. and put my ear at the heartbeat of God to hear what God is saying. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Every message is targeting something in your life to produce results and testimonies. Lift up your two hands very well. You are not behaving as if you carry the same kidney I carry to this program. With the loudest say may hear. May every curse on your head scatter by fire. Whether a man curse you, whether a woman curse you, whether a family curse you, whether a friend curse you, whether a mother curse you, father curse you, grandfather curse you, grandmother curse you, family curse you. I prophesy as you clap your hand, break by fire. Break by fire, 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 break by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Urela wali Jesu rako bie Chai Obie On your family line be broken by fire. Shout at them a very well here. That curse on your head, I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. Joshua said in Joshua 6 26, cause the animal, cause the animal. Sometimes you don't know the history of a land, you don't know the history of a compound, you don't know the history of an environment, you don't know the history of a family. You walk inside and marry from that family. He said, Cause the animal. I prophesy every cause you carry, catch fire, catch fire. A seven am here. I need water. One bottle of water. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Look at here. When you are coming next week, Friday, it starts on Monday. I want to deal with curses. If I were you, I will have notebook. Or after service, I will go back and listen to the message. What I preached last week, family history. It's not a regular message you hear from men of God. What I'm about to preach today is not a regular message. When you are coming on Monday and on Friday, look for one water here. If there is a curse, I call it water of manna. <laughs> what did I call it here? Listen, anything Adam calls them is what they have. He said this one a kangaroo. That's the name to tomorrow. He said this one na snake. That's the way to tomorrow. He said this one na tiger. I call it water of what? Manna. When you wash it, you use it to, to wash your head. Any curse that have been placed on your head. Oh God. I wash them away. If you see that last, come and be rolling on the altar. I release fire upon you, Erade. I release fire upon you. I release fire upon you, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. For all the world, all of my heart can be shaped. I release fire upon you, Erade. For the world, all of my heart, I release fire upon you. You, you want to turn this service to all night? You want to turn into? <laughs> a night with the king. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Now, stand on your feet. If you are not used to listening to messages, I beg you, don't move up and down. Listen carefully. By the grace of God, I preach. By the grace of God, I teach. By the grace of God, I prophesy. By the grace of God, according to the measures given unto me, under our father's anointing. Can we clap for Jesus Christ? 
See the way you are clapping hands. As if we have problem together. I don't get problem with anyone. So that I can minister well. My heart is clean. Can we clap for Jesus Christ? I said clap your hand very well. Don't clap like a leper. Now. Ezekiel chapter 16. Please. Listen carefully. I say stand on your feet. Listen carefully. Verses 4, 5, and 6. When we finish reading that, we read Jeremiah chapter 48, verse 11. Dealing with ancestral powers. These are not common messages. If I were you, I would get a notebook and I would take note of these messages. Can we read together? If you know that you want our prayer to travel from this auditorium to your village, your family compound, follow us to read. One to go. Moab is destroyed. A little one. No. Ezekiel chapter 16, verses 4, 5, and 6. After that, then Jeremiah 14, verse 11, not verse 4. Ezekiel chapter 16, verses 4, 5, and 6. One to go. Ezekiel, you can read for us from the Bible. Yes. As for thy nativity, in the day thou oh was born, God. thy never was not caught. Neither was thou washed in water to supple thee. Thou was not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. Verse 5. None I pity thee to do any of this unto thee, to have compassion upon thee. But thou was cast out in, in the open field to the loathing of thy person in the day that thou was born. Verse 6, the last verse for today, for this scripture. And when I passed by thee and saw thee polluted in thy own blood, mm. I said unto thee, when thou was in thy blood, leave ye. I said unto thee, when thou was in thy blood, leave. In Jesus' name. Now, very simple. I like to summarize biblical English because if care is not taken, you don't understand. Simple language of what you have just read that when you are born, you are inside blood. Yes or no? understand due to my upbringing from the village now here is very well the bible says your nerve was not caught physically is caught but spiritually it is still connected to your mother you are just carrying yourself up and down what the bible is saying is as you are here if your mother is in the grave at the cemetery you are still connected through, he said, by your nativity. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 4. You are still connected through your umbilical cord. If your mother eats apple, when the apple is 
in the stomach of your mother, there is what is called digestion. Digestion takes place. When digestion takes place, there is what is called reabsorption. The food that is good in your body is stored in form of glucose. And the one that will enter your body system is stored in form of glycogen. Then, your body has the system that God puts there that can convert glucose to glycogen and glycogen to glucose. Now, by the time the woman is carrying food, the food you eat now, in about one hour later, is digested. Your baby takes its own from the nutrient that the food has produced. The waste product is the one that goes to the small and the large intestine that you find yourself in the toilet. Now, hear this very well. If your mother drinks kind kind, you have taken kind kind. If your mother carry belly and we can go native doctor, you have gone to native doctor indirectly. If I say come out, if I go to the doctor now, you sit down. To you, you have not gone. But your mother carried you. Where your mother entered, you have entered. Today, every connectivity that had not been cut off, that makes you to suffer what they are suffering, as you stand up, receive your deliverance now. Amen. Jeremiah 48, verse 11. Let's go ahead. Jeremiah 48, verse 11. Jeremiah 48, verse 11. Somebody to read for me. Jeremiah 48, verse 11. Can you run here, please? Yes, read for me. Yes. Moab. Moab has been at ease from his youth. Moab has been like that from his youth. And he has settled in his nails. And he has been. Moab has been at ease from his youth. And he has settled on his knees. Uh -huh. And has not emptied from vessel to vessel. He has not been able to be emptied from vessel to vessel. Uh -huh. Neither had he gone into captivity. He has not been able to go into captivity. Therefore, he Therefore his days remain in him. And his scent is, is not changed. changed. What does he mean? Very simple English. Moab have not changed. Nothing to show his life didn't change from the youth because he has been connected to the father and the mother. Take your seat. Moab has not changed. Take your seat. Moab has not changed. Nothing is to be written off about Moab. His life is not moving forward. Moab is not progressing. Moab remain the way he is. Why? Let's find out what makes the life of Moab to be like this. Genesis chapter 19. Are we there? From verse 30. That sister can ready to read the Bible for us here. Genesis chapter 19. And, verse... Lot, and Lot went up out of Joah. Now, listen. Why is it that the life of Moab remains like this? Let us trace the origin. Now, we've started mentioning the grandfather, the father. You see, we started mentioning not just from his life. What kept him from youth? Not to have significant moving forward, significant changes. Everything stands still in his life. Now, read ahead. And Lot went up out of Zohar uh -huh. and dwell in the mountain. Uh -huh. And his two daughters were with him. Uh -huh. For he feared to dwell in Zohar. Uh -huh. And he dwell in a cave. Uh -huh. He and his two daughters. Because of time. Jump to verse 36. That's a summary. Verses 36 and 37 give the summary of everything. Yes. Those were both the daughters of Lot with child by their father. What does it mean? The two of them 
the first daughter and the second daughter had children for their father. Verse number 37. And the firstborn bears a son, son and call his name Moab. Moab. Sit down, my brother. Now, Moab had a very bitter life that he could not proceed. But he was not the one that born himself. This man called Lot went out of the city inside town and went to dwell in a cave. And as he was going, he carried the two daughters along. When he got there, that's the story from 30 to 37. We jumped the story. When he got there, the two daughters had meeting with the woman, but did not be firewood. Go and read it very well and understand Bible. Let us live with our father. Now women started to not be man. Go and read it. It was not the one this Bible was written. The two of them had meeting. We are living in the bush in a cave. No man sees us. What shall we do now? We need to sleep with our father. How do we have children, self? We are not in the city. We cannot marry. Our father said, let's travel. We follow him. And now we are living alone with our father. One of them said, let's make him drunk. If we produce kind, kind for him, when our father will drink kind, kind, he will not know himself. Then, these two ladies, the two daughters of Lot, agreed and went to tap palm wine. When they tap palm wine, they fermented it. That's chemistry. I did it in 1982. My teacher walked inside the hall and wrote alcohol on the, on the, on the board. And we were all clapping hands. He said today, I will teach you how to make Ogogoro. And he brought palm wine. They fermented it and boiled it. And resulted uh, effect was Ogogoro. That was what they gave to Lot. Lot drank it. And the daughter went to touch Lot. And Lot slept with the first daughter. And the lady, if you read down, is there. That lady said, I have done my own. That's why you should be careful of fornication. The lady said, I've done my home. You know, go, go do your home. This is how also men do in the church. That you don't, you don't do your home. This is how they do. In some churches, not be here. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The lady said, they have me to read it at home. Genesis chapter 19, verses 30 to 37. And in now, chapter 30 to 37. And they now said, Go and do your home. The second one brought your gogoro the second night. He said, Drink, 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 drink. Pale, drink. Pale said, The onion, what did they do? He said, He water. He said, He water. He drink, amen. He take. He took amen. It was not amen. It was a gogoro. He drank it. He didn't know himself. He pregnanted the second daughter. Two daughters got pregnant for their father. Then one of the children is called Moab. Was he the fault of Moab? No, but it's a product of incest. And incest for a man to sleep with his daughter is abomination. For a woman to sleep with his son is not just abomination, abomination, country, nation, country. It's more than abomination, it's abomination, country. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? That was Moab. Can we clap for Jesus Christ? Now, the power that fought Moab actually is called a sensual power. Moab suffered what 
that is called ancestral power. Moab could not proceed, could not succeed, could not make it a life. The saint have not changed. His life did not change. Right from when he was born, his life was that. Now, I want to pray for you. Anything that is responsible for why you are stagnated for years, as you clap your hand, I break it off from your life. Amen. 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 Stand up and turn around and shout him at the times. What are ancestral powers? Sit down. Number one, evil powers in charge of a family from one generation to the others. What are ancestral power? The power in a family assigned to a particular family to kill, to steal, and to destroy. What are ancestral powers? Evil powers monitoring everyone in that family. What ancestral powers? The spirit behind collective captivity. What about collective captivity? Your brother is suffering this problem. Your sister is going through the same problem. Another person in the family went through the same problem. Everybody had the same problem. Maybe eye problem. Maybe late marriage. Maybe divorce cases. Maybe one thing or the other. Maybe poverty. Maybe struggling. All of you are struggling. No one can help the other. That's collective captivity. Lift up your hands. As you shout amen one more time. May God Almighty disconnect you from that powers. What? What are sexual powers? That is the strong man assigned against a family. What are sexual powers? They are the power that ensure that everybody suffers the same thing. Everybody in the family, they go through the same battle. What are sexual powers? Power assigned to execute punishment on a cursed family. Moab remained as he was. His life did not change. Why? Because of his connection to his father. He was actually cut off from the mother that the mother was a father's daughter. Are you hearing what I'm saying? His father's daughter. Now be the mother. In other words, his mother was his own sister. Can we clap for Jesus Christ? That curse, that power monitored him and followed him everywhere that nothing could change. Anything behind why you are struggling. The loudest amen that your neighbors will lift up your voices and your hands. I command that power fall down and die. Amen. Fall down and die. Amen. Fall down and die. Amen. Number eight. They ensure that you remain in one position. Number nine. Ancestral power. The power assigned to discipline the violating of collective covenant in a family. If you violate a covenant, you are not born again. They said, in your family, don't eat okra. In your family, they don't eat monkey. In your family, they don't eat snake. They don't eat poor. And you don't know that these were gods that made their ancestors to tell you that and tell your generation that nobody in this family should eat monkey. There is something behind it. It's not just that covenant came. So, the power that make the person that eat it to make the mouth so big or the leg so big, the power that punishes that person, if you are not born again, if you are born again, you eat what they don't eat in your family. There is a leaf, they told us they know they eat in our family. When I heard it, and I started doing deliverance in this worry, I went to Udu Market. I, start, I finished preaching it. I looked for the vegetable. God punished the devil. I walked around and I saw it. I can't remember the name. When I cook it, 
at sector half where I was living, DSC township, sector half, when I balance and use it to eat Amala. Oh my God. I read courses on them. The leaf is so nutritious. When I Google it, they say this leaf, if you eat it, you look younger. You look fresher. And one demon in my family said we should not eat it. When I ate it, I look balanced. Why is it that it cannot affect me? Because I am already delivered. Every power that put on that covenant and bondage. As you clap your hands, I break it now. Come on, shout them at anywhere here. I don't like the way you are shouting at me here. Shout a better hymn here. Yeah, man. One family in the church told me worried that they don't eat monkey. I said, eh? You don't eat monkey? Eh? Monkey, where they buy for supper at that time? When bush day? Where did they anger jerry can? Why white? Why white uh, something? Along the road between Bini, Sapele, and Ol Ologo. That plus, that empty can, they bend it. When you, that thing they build that time, when you see that inside, you see monkey pepper soup. I do go there, 1983, 84, when I just bought my first car from Uruboman. Nowhere to go on Saturday. I just want to drive. I will face there. I will sit down inside that hut. That hut, that thing they built. Now they call hut. H U H R T. I will order monkey. Look, monkey and sweet. Oh. You see that hand like this? Now teeth are take the open them. All the ingredients they take cook is inside this hand. Lift up your hands here. Asush. <laughs> People are laughing. Wait first. Wait first. We are here. I so shout this amen very well. May every covenant fight to you die by fire. Amen. Die by fire. Amen. Die by fire. Amen. Die by fire. Amen. Now see that. The power behind the punishment that punishes people for violating that. When you are not covered, you are not born again, you are not regenerated, you are not delivered, the name of the thing that makes your eyes swell up or die or convert or fall down or that thing they say will happen, that will happen. The name of that spirit is called Assessra Power. My God. See, I hear. You are not talking. See, I hear. Number 10, power that block every heaven from not allowing rain to fall on your business. Number 11, power sponsoring what I call repeated evil history in your life. Number 12, ancestral powers ensures all kind of things happen to the same, to the same people in that family. All the same problem happen to everybody in that family. Number 13, ancestral power they are the spirit of the dead. When you are, you are seeing dead family members, there is ancestral power. When they say don't eat this, don't eat that, there is ancestral powers. They say your family know they do this, know they do that. Before they marry, before they, they do this, before they do that, you must do this. Like the family where I said they pursue me when I went for marriage, I don't know the, the area in the, this data state. They, they chase us. I ran away. I escaped there. I have no police. The lady was to bath with corn. In that family, anybody want to marry to that house, before the marriage, if the marriage is this Saturday, they will count 21 days. They will hang seven corns all in the kitchen. We have fire. Go to eat it. Then, on the 21 day, on that day of that marriage, they go put it inside water. Then, she will use it to bath. That's initiation to hardship. That's what I saw. When we were sitting at the own table there, and they told me that uh, the pastor wife that we come from, that she want to bath corn. Hey! They didn't switch me. Now, that kind of thing, they switch me. I pick race. They say, go back. The women, the sister naked. Then they bath them. Now I got there. They wanted to start to bath. 
Who was say, Go, Mano, they come here. I said, Which Mano, they come here? Who are you talking to? What is this? The woman went naked, was standing, was trying to bend down like this. I said, What is this? What is this? I kick the bucket, boah, and I turn it upside down. I am here, you are doing this. When they go, when they told the father of the lady, the man pointed, walking, he said, You are not the first pastor to come to this village. I carry my walking, I hit it, boah. I said, This village is not the first place. I will attend marriage here. You people invited me that I must be here. And I'll be here. You say it's your tradition. Which tradition? I scatter it. When I when I they hear some boys, hey, who be that? Which pastor? I told my brother, go and start the motto. Go and start. We no get police. If not today, I no go run like that. I said, go and start the motto. As I almost forget my shoe. Look, as I pick my bag, we enter moto. In case my brother cannot run, I ask him to come down from the steering. I fire car. Now God say, make we escape. They you say we go beat the pastor. They say, well, they say nine days I moto. When I make zoom, I take tire sprinkle sand. Now, if you know when tire roll inside sand, if it is suit me. I take tire pour sand, scatter their, their body, and I escaped. They will have beat us up there. But God is always with me. You can't plan against me, cannot work. When we God is with majority, no man touch not my anointed and do my prophet know how. Anyone that tries you will die by fire. I don't like your hymn and shout the better him here. How our God na giddy bow. He changed not. That's right. Wonderful way maker. Yes. Oh, omnipotent God. Yes. How our God na giddy bow. He changed not. Ah. Wonderful way maker. Oh, omnipotent God. Let me tell you that demon ancestral power does not recognize whom you are. Is ready to deal with anybody. That's a power. Let me tell you. Maybe you don't know today. Write it down. That's a power that dealt with Moses. Moses made a vow. Why? Mike, how do you know? People have asked me in Bible study. I said, yes. How do I know? Jesus was praying. And Peter saw a vision. Let us build three tabernacles. One for Moses. One for Elijah. One for you. Let me ask a question. If Moses is in hell, he can never appear to Jesus Christ. Can we clap for Jesus Christ? Now, put that one aside. Moses did not make it to promised land. Why? Ancestral power 14. Can I show you in the Bible? Exodus chapter 2, verse 1. Hear this very well. Exodus chapter 2, verse 1. Can you give it to me? Exodus 2, 1. Somebody read for me. There went a man of the house of Levi and took a wife, a daughter of Levi. Now, let's do Bible study. Who was Levi? Genesis 49. Verses 5, 6, and 7. Please, first, give me Genesis 49. A man from family of Levi got married to a woman from family of Levi. Who is Levi? Jacob was blessing the children and laying curse on some of them. When he got to Simon and Levi, he said, Simon and Levi are brethren. Come on, let's have it on the screen. Simon and Levi are brethren. Instrument of cruelty are in their habitation. Verse 6. Cruelty. Verse 6. Verse 7. Verse 6. Oh my soul. Come not into their secret. Yes. Is the opposite of anger and cruelty. You cannot be meek in nature. And have anger. To have meekness means you are humble. Whatever anyone tells you. Does not make you get angry. You are very quiet. 
you cannot talk much. You do more action than much word. If they say you decrease, you cannot cause the person back say you decrease seven times. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Now, Moses, when you read Exodus chapter 2 verse 1, put it back. A man from the family of Levi, Exodus 2 1, got married to a woman from a family of Levi. Levi, that is, and produce who? Verse 2. Produce who? Verse 2. I do not conceive and bear a son, and he saw him was godly, and he hid him for three months. When you go down, he called him Moses. What is Moses? Or who was Moses? Cruelty plus anger is in this ancestral bloodline. What is in the ancestral bloodline of Moses? Cruelty and anger. He had been behaving well since they left the land. But very close to the land. When he was supposed not to get angry. When he was to collect the tablet of information. The Ten Commandments. God said, just touch the rock. Let water come out. He smite the rock. Remember, who was rock? Rock of ages. Clear for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the world. water. Psst. Ice water. God is a rock. Did you hear what I'm saying here? No what the Bible says, I built my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Do you understand what I'm saying here? So, Moses got to the promised land at the beginning looking at the place. God looked at him because of anger. Something triggered from his blood. Naturally, by God's master plan, he was a meek person. But because of the mother and the father, which is ancestors and ancestral powers, he got angry when he was supposed not to get angry. And God said, you will see the land, but you will never enter. What fought Moses is what? Ancestral power. Any power that will not allow to enter promised land. Your promised land can be your business. As you stand up with seven amen, let the power die by fire. Hey, man, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, now, characteristics of ancestral power. That's where we stop today. Number one, they appear as dead relatives. Any woman here, any man here. You are seeing dead people, dead mother, dead father. Your father that have died is talking about the family compound. I'm talking about your brother and your sister. It's not your father. It's ancestral power. Number two. Any power that makes you to see yourself in your village, your whole school, writing an exam that you have passed before, you find yourself in your primary school compound, you have ancestral power in your family. Number three, ancestral power characteristics. They operate well coordinated government because they know the family history and they repeat the history in the life of almost everyone in the family. Number four, has a power to stop greatness. Lift up your hands. Any power that wants to stop your greatness, leap up your hand and stand up here. I command that power to live your life alone forever. Amen. Number five, they supply information. They know your great great grandfather, your grandfather, your father. You don't know your grandfather. You don't know your grandmother. You don't know your great grandfather. You don't know your great grandmother. You don't know these people. But ancestral power knows them, knows what killed them, knows how they struggle, and that power wants you to be like them. Lift up your two hands. I prophesy, receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Now, take note of this. Number five or number six. They appear as masquerade. Anybody in life, I carry out spiritual and physical survey about this message. Any
anybody in life that is in masquerade in the dream, it is not actually masquerade you are seeing. It is ancestral power that is appearing to you and fighting you. Stand up. Stand up. Turn around several times. Turn around several times. I separate you from that masquerade. I separate your life from that masquerade. I separate your spirit from that masquerade. I separate you from that masquerade. I separate you from that masquerade. I separate you from that masquerade. Can I hear your head? Amen. Karasarisis. They make you to see dead father and dead mother. And your dead father come to give you instruction. It's God that will give you instruction to run the family. Not your dead father and not your dead mother. Number nine. They ensure a family has one common problem. Common problem. That is a power that makes your sister. You cannot understand that all you and your sister, you are struggling. You and your sister, no marriage. You and your sister, either you born one child before they marry you. Your mother born in two, three places the same way. In your family, somebody have to born one child before they will say, hello, how are you? Can you be my life partner? Already, there's a baby you are hiding or you are keeping that is already born in your hand. But you don't want people to know. You just package yourself very well and you don't want people to know that you have a baby. What makes you to have that baby? It's not your wish. It is a sense of power that make one repeated in your life, repeated in your sisters and your younger brother. If you don't fight it now, it will repeat in the life of that person. Ancestral power. Ancestral power. It makes your family to have common disease or sickness. A sister came to see me from London. They told her, why did she come? Because her breast, I've never seen that in my life, was as big as this. When she came, they covered her with clothes. Her breast was so big. When I saw her, they wanted to show me. I said, no, 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 no. When I look, it's horrible. Goose pimples. It's horrible. The breast is as big as this. The grandmother died of breast cancer. The mother died of breast cancer. Are you with me now? She already about to die of breast cancer. One man called Pastor Victor. Members are watching. They all know Pastor Victor in our church. Pastor Victor brought this woman. Told her to come. She said, if it's morning, I will fly down. No problem. Let me come and see your pastor. Breast cancer from mother, grandmother to her. It's not anything that causes it. It's in the blood. As you jump up seven times. Any blood related disease, sickness in your system. As you jump now, receive your deliverance. 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 They convince you. That's a power telling you since you have been going to church. Your prayer is no answer. Where do you want to go? You tell them, make one go, Jare. You carry Bible before. You wanted to come to church, but you feel tired. If you are here, you are like that. Now, sense power. You now say, I don't, I, I will not go. Hey, 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 look, eh? They go for front and they come for back. May you not come for back. May you go for front. Stand up and shout. Ancestral power does not like spiritual growth. No matter what they teach you, you go back to sin. He wants you to be like them because he will not even allow you to go to the good church. You see a good church like this. You see a colossal man. A man that cannot be measured with anyone I've ever seen in my life. Preaching here. You came once. The thing suits you. You enjoy the service. And we welcome our newcomers. 
you came out. And they took your name, your phone number. They told you to come next Sunday. Inside of you to come next Sunday. I bet they go, Jerry. There is a spirit that stops you. It's called ancestral power. Why? The spirit, your grandfather did not go to church. Was serving mommy water. Your father was serving Igbe. Your grandfather was serving Hamadioha. Your grandmother was serving Areremino. Now, Juju name be that too. Somebody told me, said they took his name to Areremino. Areremino, he said, as he was being, they said, if they beg him, you know, they hear. When your father, your grandfather, they serve Areremino, you now come to church. That spirit will fight you. You need to fight very well. You need to pray with all your kidney and liver. It's not the time you are in church. You now say, let's pray. You do your hand like a woman. You know, every woman, the hand is like this. You pray small. The hand is like this. Now my mother, make me to know that one. When my mother, they go to church, go do like this. I say, come, man. Why don't you go to church and do like this? Why is it that my mother must do like this? Why she carry back? Or she want to put a pencil. <laughs> Why can't you put and do it? My mother said, Make a get out from here. He said, Everything now you want to know. I want to know everything because so that I can preach well. So that we know what I'm saying. Anytime my mother wants to put pencil, she will first do her mouth like this. And I told her, Is it bad if you open pencil and don't do like this? You are laughing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sir, is it bad? What is behind it that you must do? Why? Why? Lift up your hands. I break every ancestral power away from your life. Yeah. Ancestral power. Ancestral power. They make you to dream bad dream. You find yourself in your family compound. Old village. Old family compound. Ancestral powers. Ancestral power. They make you to go and say, let me go back and serve you. The power that says make you go to native daughter is the same power that make your father to serve Juju in his time. Ancestral power. Ancestral powers. Ancestral power. Ancestral power. They ensure that you don't finish a project. They bury the person because now so it be for village. The owner of this upstairs, that upstairs, that bungalow is buried at the corridor. Any project you start, they will not bury you before your time. They ensure that you don't get to promised land. They ensure that you don't achieve your goal in life. They will not stop you from carrying Bible. Ancestral power will not stop you from coming to church. Ancestral power will not stop you from serving God. Ancestral power will not stop you from being a choir member. They will make you to serve God and at the same time, you'll be confused. I'm serving God, nothing to show. Why is it that I'm a worker and I have no husband? There is an ancestral power that block it. You, say, you want to go to church? I will frustrate you. That's why this message is important. Ancestral power will make you to clean church very well. But if you are a very lazy person, you did not carry yourself and dump and abandon yourself inside prayer. At 6-4, he said we give ourselves. Prayer is not a gift. Prayer is you give yourself. You hand over your life into prayer. Can you clap that hand very well here? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Accessor power will block every door. Accessor power will block every area. It will allow you to serve God. It will allow you to come to church. But we make you to call God a liar. Because he's a strong man. What's the job of a strong man? A strong man will ensure that you pray and pray there is no answer. What's the job of a strong man? The strong man will make sure that you pray and pray. The more you pray, the more you see attack. What is the power that is attacking you when you are prayed? It's called accessor power. Accessor power. Accessor power. Accessor power. Accessor power. power. When you try to move forward, accessor power will draw you back. A 
ancestral powers when you try to marry it will scatter at the edge of sources you start a business failure at the edge of sources everything you try to do when it's about to end that well it will scatter because of ancestral power ladies and gentlemen ancestral powers you don't joke with it you don't look at it you deal with it in prayer you bring yourself out of it he said from the nativity your navel was not caught we are here to call that navel every navel that connects you to the suffering of your mother suffering of your father suffering of your grandfather suffering of your grandmother i cut it off in the name of jesus ancestral powers you don't dream bad dream once you are cut off when you see yourself in your village you have ancestral power you are seeing dead relatives there is ancestral power in place you are seen all the time yourself in the bush in the forest you see yourself in classroom you are writing examination you could not finish the exam or you fail in an exam in the dream ancestral power i come with the power of jehovah Back up by Papa Ayo Orisha Jaffa. Every ancestral spirit. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Meet me on Monday. This Sunday, God is going to do something. Don't miss service. Excuse me. If you do not pray today, then do you. It's an attack. I don't dream bad dream. I can never see myself in my home school in my village. Because I have poured acid on the power of ancestral power in my life. Gamma 20. Tetra also surfaces acid. I, I pour on that spirit. I draw chloric acid. How can you try to move forward? Ancestral power will allow you to serve God. Not that you will not go to church. You will serve God. You will be a worker. But you cannot see money that you are using. Because the family, the power in the family want to frustrate you so that you will say, let me try another way. Ancestral power will take you to wrong church. You come here, you see the service, you had powerful preaching like this, you see, go to another place. That's ancestral power. We are they will deceive you and collect your money. They collect your money. You have problem. They now put more problem on your problem. They say you go pay for deliverance. And you say make we go. Some of you say they go buff you. And you carry yourself, give one man of God. If they buff you, you say turn, you turn. Carry your hand up, you turn. Women cannot explain what they have gone through. Mostly they are women. They won't tell their husband how somebody baffled them. When I see that, even if inside service, and they mention it. Many people don't work out because ancestral power now they bring work about. Lift up your hands. Before we pray, if you are afraid, please. Pack your bag and go and stay somewhere. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Say, as I'm going to pray now, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. As I'm going to pray four prayers, every power. Are you ready now? Say, every ancestral power of my father's house. God, may I not come here for this prayer in vain. Savior, power, my father's house. Yes, power, my father's my mother's house. I am not your candidate. I am not your candidate. Leave, me alone. Leave me alone. Clap your hand and pray. My father, my father. Uh huh. 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 Aha, 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 a
you. I repent against you. Yes. I love the way some of you are praying. Uh huh. 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 Rapakataya Zerapoka Toda Yamana. Yes, 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 yes. Leave me low, 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 leave me low. In Jesus' name we pray. Jump up and shout in the territory. Second prayer, are you ready? Turn three times before you pray this prayer. Turn three times, three times, three times. Prophetic turn. Yes, number two, turn. Number three, face here. Shout, any covenant, any covenant of, my family, of my family leading me to access power. power as I pray, as I clap my hands. I cut it off. Clap your hands. Yes. 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 I love the way you are praying. I love the way you are praying. Hey, Baragada, 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 Baragada. Zora Gadaya, Zora Gadaya, Zora Gadaya, Zora Gadaya, Zora Gadaya. In Jesus' name, we pray. Wow, I love the way you pray today. You will pray the third one. I will not repeat family history. Hold that baby in your hand. Hold it. I told you to come with your family history. If you are not with it, look for any paper. Tear any paper. Tear any paper. It's representing family history. Family history. Tear that paper. Any plain sheet, hold it. Leave it and say, my father, my maker. Can you do fast? You are wasting my time. Wave it and say, my father, my maker. Wave it. Let the old church wave it. Wave it. Camera is carrying you now. Wave it. Everybody wave it. Camera want to pick you. Shout, my father, my maker. Wave it, my father, my maker. As I wave my paper, I shall never repeat family history. Camera, carry us and pray the prayer. My father, as I wave my paper, yes, never, never, yes, 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 never, never, never. Never, 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 never. Yes, never. that's right. That's right. In Jesus' name, we pray. Wow, this thing is deep. Time has gone. It's deep. You will pray the final one. Drop that paper first. I'm going to bless it before, before we submit it for, for burning. Lift up at once. You will pray the last one. Any agent of ancestral power, whether or not my grandmother living inside me, whether there is a personality living inside some people, whether or not spirit, you carry television, you are very angry. You spoil it, finish. You are now begging, say, I'm very sorry. I don't, I don't know what come upon me. You know, if you don't know me, I know. Now, sensor power. You spoil things, you get angry anyhow, you talk anyhow. Because your mother can talk anyhow. Because your grandmother, now talkative. 
and it's in your blood. Lift up your hand. Say, any agent of ancestral power living inside my body as I clap my hands, you grandmother, you grandfather, my uncle, as I pray, come out, there, 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 come out, there. Yes. 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 Any snake masquerade. Serpent. Serpent. Inside my body. Come out. Down. Down. Agent of darkness, come out in Jesus' name. We pray. Lift up your two hands. There are 17 of, of you here. As you turn that spirit of grandmother, the spirit of grandfather, you cannot stand on your feet. That's a spirit. Close your eyes as you're about to turn several times. Every stranger. Psalm 18 verses 44, 45, 46. Strangers shall fade away. As soon as they hear my voice, they will run out of their hidden place. As you turn around now, close your eyes. Are you ready to turn? Oh, you are turned. In the name of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. You stranger, you grandmother, you uncle, you auntie, you dead man. Dead woman, on, 17 of them, cry out, 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 give me that water, out, 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 out. liver, liver, yes, come out, aha, aha, aha. Out, come out, bring her up, bring her up, come out, come out, 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 come out, yes, out, 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 come out of her, come out of her, come out of her. You grandmother, come out. Come out. You grandmother. Out. 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 Come out of her. Jesus. Leave her. Leave her. Come out. Come out of her. You grandmother. You grandfather. I command her spirit. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Yes. Yes. Let her go. 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 Yes. Out. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Today, I come as warrant police officer. Lift up your hands. I arrest every ancestral power. With your loudest amen, that power will never stay inside you again. All those that fed another anointing, come here. Run here. Run here. Run here. Wherever you are, run here. Touch me one more time. Oh Lord. Me can only talk to me now. Touch me one more time. 
Oh Lord. Stand up here. Yeah. Stand up. I need a touch. I need a touch from the master. I need a touch from the Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh Lord. Sing it more water. Touch me one more time. Oh Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. I need a touch. I need a touch from the Master. I need a touch from the Lord. I need what I hear. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Lift up your hands. In the name of God the Father, there is going to be a wave like tornado. In the name of God the Son, stay where you are and the Holy Ghost. Lift up your hands right there. I command your grandmother, your grandmother, your grandmother. I command that auntie, that uncle, that dead spirit inside your body. I come, hey, Holy Ghost! <laughs> <laughs> Let her go. 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 Yes. Yes. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Yes. Yes, be that here. Oh, Who are you? I command that spirit. Who are you? Out. Out. That touch from the Lord. Ah. Touch me one more time. Oh, Lord. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Hallelujah. Baba. Ah, I want to Baba. You are I live. Lift the door. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name. Out. Bring this woman here. That's a there is a dead spirit inside her. Who are you? Who are you? Give me microphone. Who are you? Give me microphone. Who are you? 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 I command you to speak out. I command you to speak out. That spirit inside you. In the name that is above every other name, speak out. No. Who are you? Yes. Carry up. You can never resist God. Greater is He that is in me. Carry up than He that is in the world. Carry up. In the name of God the Father, face me here. You, that spirit, I want to know you before I give you good notice. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Are you the grandmother? Are you the grandmother? Who are you? You. Idol. What do you call it? Idol. Yes. What kind of idol? The idol they worship in our What is the name of the idol? I don't know. The idol. What have you done to her? What have you done to her? I destroy her life. You destroy her life. I don't want her to get married. You don't want her to get married. Sickness. You place her on sickness. Yes. Can you hear what the spirit is saying? You place her on sickness. Yes, let camera carry it. Can you give me space here? Give me space here. You place her on sickness. Yes. And you don't want her to marry. No, I want to kill her. You want to kill her? Yes. Who put the saw on your leg? The saw, I am the one that put it. The juju put the saw. Yes. You juju, you are a wicked juju. I told you that sexual power. 
their job is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Everybody, Holy Ghost! Fire! Now, I don't have time. Pack your bag, pack your baggage, give me a note in all, in the name that is above every other name. And anyone here that the spirit is tormenting, I stand on the rock of ages and I stand by the power of God on the 52 years old daughter. Every power from of Juju of your village that want to destroy you and put Juju on your body. I command you now, right now, at the count of seven, with the oil. Go! Come One, on. two, Loser. three, Loser. four, Loser. five, Loser. six, Loser. seven! Leave on the ground. In Jesus' name we pray. I summon that you to this altar. You cannot be as old as 52 years. You that juju, I summon you. Even if you have been existing for more than 52 years, you can't compete with the power of God. At the mentioning of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every God confess that Jesus is Lord. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. All right. All of you here, on Monday I'm going to see you. Every one of you. We'll pray here, we continue there. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Open your hands. Open your hands. Open your hands, everybody. Go! Out! Out! Look at what the Jews is doing. I see snake in their family. I see snake. I see snake. I command that spirit of snake. Out! <laughs> All of you, go because of my time. In Jesus' name. Tell them to go. They don't want to go. Put that woman on the ground. In Jesus' name, we pray. Put her on the ground. Other than your neighbor here. Hey, man. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, man. Please pick a good seed and let's do quick. Let's rush the remaining items quickly. Pick a good seed in your hand. Make an only choir. It's your turn. Father, blotter versus altar. I'll be ministering that one in three weeks time. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Drop it on the altar quickly. May God bless you. Oh, Lua, etobi, etobi, oh, etobi. Oh, Lua, etobi, etobi, oh, etobi,
Let's clap for Jesus Christ. These people, they are too much. <laughs> Let's clap for Jesus Christ. They are too much. I've never seen singers like this since I was born. Clap for Jesus Christ. Since I was born. I say clap for Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. I congratulate you that you are here today. You pray one more prayer. Nothing will take me away from God's presence this Sunday. You will pray, God, make me to come early this Sunday. Clap your hand and pray that prayer. That's a funny prayer. God, I will not miss service this Sunday. Clap your hand and pray that simple, logical, prophetic prayer. Simple, logical. Some people are not praying. Pray that prayer. You must be here. In Jesus' name we pray. May the Lord be with you. Bring out that paper one more time. Whether empty, God knows that there is something inside. Don't go home with it. We drop it on the altar. The ushers will burn it in the next 20 to 30 minutes. Lift it up. Even if you don't write anything there. Fine. God knows your heart. He satisfies the desire of your heart. Delight thyself in the Lord. Psalm 37 verse 4. And he shall give you the desire of your heart. Wave it. In the name of God the Father. Say amen very well. I use this. Yes, camera. Pick it up. Wave it very well. Don't miss Friday. Don't miss Monday. Don't miss Sunday. As you are waving it, I prophesy. May God wave away family history from your head. You will never suffer what they suffer in your family. You will not go through the same sickness in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. What stop others will not stop you. I don't like this. Amen. Can you shout amen very well? May you, may you grow from strength to strength. May you abandon yourself inside prayer. May you forget yourself inside prayer. Can you shout that amen very well here? In Jesus' name we pray. After Monday special service, anyone that is still thinking of ancestral spirit, you way behind. We are going to do 30 minutes raw acidic deliverance prayers. May the Lord bless you. Thank you, sir. Come on, wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Now listen, listen, listen. Listen where you are, please listen. Now you see, this fire and thunder with brimstone prayers. We just prayed now. If you are here and you are not born again, you are still under bondage. You must surrender your life to Jesus for Jesus to take care of it. Now, hear me. Hear me. If you are here and you want to give your life to Christ, raise up your right hand. You want to, you want to give your life to Christ. You don't want those things that happened in your family to repeat. Raise up your right hand and come here. Come over here. Come to my right hand side. If you are here, if you are here, you need Jesus. That is the only way you can break the powers of darkness. I told you to hold on. What's the problem with people? I told you to hold on. If you are here, you know. You want to surrender your life to Jesus. Because the prayer we are praying now, if you are not born again, it will not work for you. It will not. Because you cannot take what belongs to God with the hands of Satan. If you want to be born again, raise up your right hand, come to my right hand side. Come over here. If you want to give your life to Christ, come over here. If you want to do so, come over here. I give you one minute. One minute. One minute to rush here. What I'm doing if you are coming, come over here. What I'm doing, I'm led of the Spirit and I want your prayers to be answered. I don't want anything to stand in the way of your prayer. Come over this place. If 
you want to you want to surrender your life to Jesus come over here make it fast make it fast come over here you want to surrender your life to Jesus because that's the only way your prayers can be answered that's the only way your prayers can be answered if you are not born again all this jumping up and down you are wasting your time you need to be born again you need to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. That is only when Jesus can fight your battles. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Come over here. You want to be born again? Come over here. Come over here. So that you don't just waste your time when we are praying hot and fire prayers like this. You need to know Jesus. Is there anyone coming? Any other person coming? Now, for those of you who are here, I want you to say with me, say, Dear Jesus, I come to you today a sinner. I surrender my life, my spirit, my soul, and my body to you. Oh Lord, receive me and write my name in the book of life. From today, every prayer that I pray in this house shall be answered because I am born again. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Father, write your names in the book of life that from today they are counted among the candidates of heaven. I declare it by your word and so shall it be. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. You are still coming? Join them. Join them. Because I know there are people here you know, the Spirit of God ministered to me. There are people here who are just praying, but they don't know Jesus. Join them. Now, who is welcoming? Those who are coming for the first time. Hello. God bless you. Ayo, Orisha Jaffo is my name. I'm Senior Pastor of Word of Life Bible Church here in Worry Delta State. Listen to me. God called me and gave me a word 51 years ago. He said, take my word to the world. Word of Life Bible Church is one of the great things God did in my life. 36 years ago, this church came alive. Men and women, boys and girls have been changed, transformed. Lives have been healed. Deliverances, blessings. God has done and is doing incredible things. In this new year, 2024, I want to encourage you to come. Come and worship with us. Come and hear the word of God that God has given me. I promise you, you will never ever be the same. I'm looking for you this Sunday. I'm looking for you every Sunday. I'm excited. I thank God for your life. May God bless you as you make your plans to come and be a part of the happy church where God is moving and blessing. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Water Fly Bible Church, Send of Essence, beautiful equipment the people that build the nations. Welcome to the headquarters of the International Gospel Center, Word of Life Bible Church, a place of wonder, a place of grace, a place of favor. place of greatness, a place of solution, and a place of God's glory, a family to be